All right, welcome to Yo Tango's fifth week, fourth week lesson. Um, we taught Vallejo, not Vallejo's, back out shows, sandwich, uh, sandwich back out shows, and all that kind of stuff. We also talked about posture and walking as we do with every lesson. If you want to know about these, go ahead and look at our previous videos. Right, so to go into back out shows, first we're going to start um, leads with their weight on our right foot. Which means bubbles are on your left. I'm going to take a step to the side, step to the left, and I step in place. So now my weight is still on my right foot. And then I'm going to rotate to the left. I follow this rotation to rotate to the left as well. I step forward. I step backwards with and rotate as the impulse is given. And now I'm rotating to the right and I step forward again. I step back, turn to meet my lead. And we just continue this pattern of stepping forward and rotating. Um, one thing I think is very important for this move is when we're doing it, especially from the waist perspective, to not be afraid of um, stepping too close to, to the ball. Because if you step too far away, um, it causes a disconnect in the embrace, which makes it harder to lead. We also learned a way to get out of this move. This is the sandwich. Yeah, we do a sandwich out of it. So we start by doing our regular back coach shows. Then on when I'm leading the back coach shows to follow going towards my right, instead of you know stepping forward doing the back coach show, what I'm gonna do is gonna um, loosen the embrace, help them follow up the back, and I'm going to have my weight in my left foot and I'm gonna slide my right foot to meet the follows. Can you see it? Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. Good. Now I'm gonna step forward, make a sandwich, Back. As they step back, I feel an impulse forwards. I step forwards to meet the throw. Right. Now I'm going to rotate to my right. I step into the open space, collect, and turn. And then I step back into the space. Yeah, so let's do it from this um, perspective. Let's go that way more. Right. So we're going to step to the side, do our back shows. Now I'm going to slide my right foot to meet the follow after I loosen the embrace. And I'm going to step and make that sandwich. I step forward into the space. And now I'm going to rotate to my right. I step into the space given, turn and rotate, rotate step forward. back and rotate. Now on the same side foot, we just continue out to regular tango walks. And we taught a very little fun um, leg wrap that we can do out of this too. Um, let's actually do it on, on the sides as well. So we got, we're going to do this move at the same um, side of the back row shows as our exit. So we're doing our back row shows. Then at this point, instead of putting uh, sliding our leg to meet the follows, but like this, we're going to move it in. Logie's foot is on the inside of my foot. Right. Now I'm going to shift the embrace and bring the follow forward. My leg feels that impulse. It swings around and wraps around the lead's body. Right. And. Um, if you'll notice, my leg is bent at this point and up to make that really, really good connection. If my um, leg would as it was like this, it'd be a lot harder to, to make that look like wrap. Right. So now I'm going to give that impulse back. I step back with the lead foot. I'm going to continue by stepping to the right instead of forward or back of the toes. Another lesson.